The history of coral reef science is so interesting to think that Darwin was probably one of the world's first coral reef scientists. And at that time, most of the sailors and mariners around the world were petrified of coral reefs. They literally thought that coral reefs were going to take over the world's oceans and prevent them from being passable. People were afraid of coral reefs taking over the world, and now we're afraid of losing all the reefs on the planet. So one of the interesting things about studying coral reefs is that you go from place to place and every reef is different. A reef is not a reef is not a reef. I've been to hundreds of islands around the world trying to document how coral reefs are structured and how they vary. For me, coming from Hawaii and having that be kind of my baseline at the time, jumped in the water on Christmas Island and I thought those reefs were amazing because they had more biodiversity, there was quite a bit more coral cover at the time, but as we transited up the island chain and got to more and more remote and less populated islands, my personal baseline shifted with each island because by the time we ended in Kingman, the reefs had about 70% you know, of the bottom was covered in live coral and it just changed my whole perspective of what a healthy coral reef should look like. My lab largely focuses on understanding the factors that influence marine communities and specifically in this day and age I find it really difficult to do that in the absence of studying human impacts. So we focus on a whole variety of things from local impacts to global impacts. In my lab we use a whole variety of tools to study these marine ecosystems. Everything from complex imaging systems that allow us to see reefs in 3D to all kinds of physiological tools that allow us to measure photosynthesis and growth. We can manipulate CO2 in a laboratory. Um, we have experimental aquarium systems where we can measure a whole variety of different things and cutting edge novel sensors that allow us to take the pulse of the ocean. When we think about managing coral reefs for future resilience to climate change, you know, there isn't really one silver bullet. We need to be taking a holistic approach and utilizing a variety of different tools and ultimately the best set of approaches will come down to where we are in the world, what kind of human populations we have living off of or near the reef, what types of impacts that reef is currently facing and what type of oceanographic conditions that reef lives in. To really build comprehensive resilience approaches to these systems, we need to address each one uniquely.